thunderstorm of Marine artillery and mortars pound Sugarloaf, driving the defenders back underground. Tanks from the 6th Tank Battalion race around Sugarloaf to secure positions on both sides of the hill. Within minutes, a half dozen of them fall to Japanese armor-piercing guns and well-placed minefields, throwing the attack plan into doubt. But instantly, a dozen Marine rocket trucks rush up, dodging enemy shell fire and delivering devastating supporting salvos as the tanks reorganize. At 0830, with the plan in disarray, the shelling ceases as the 80 men of the 29th begin their assault. As always, the Japanese re-emerge from underground to deliver stinging fire from their surface positions. struggling around the hill, the Marines charge forward in an effort to reach the Japanese holding the crucial crest. The attack wavers as the assault meets the same curtain of steel that shredded 10 previous attacks. Tanks reach their flanking positions and unleash hell. Shells and machine gun bullets rip into the Japanese as the charging Marines reach the crest. And the words pass, we got it. We got that damn hill, we're on top of that hill. And uh, that's how the word came through that we finally got that son of a gun. After seven days, 11 attempts, and over 2,600 Marine casualties, Sugarloaf is in American hands. But there's no time for celebration. With the lock to the dreaded Shuri line finally broken, fresh troops rush in to relieve the 29th and begin unwinding its murderous interlocked defenses. On June 21st, 1945, victory is declared, bringing an end to the hideous 82-day bloodbath.